Hey, I am here with a special guest. He's my buddy. Yes, he's my buddy. Come here. He's like, you're scratching. I can't. Scratching it just right. You say hi. Come say hi. Come say hi, Albert. Oh, there he is. Hey, Sal. He's a buddy of mine. Yeah, he's a buddy. And he's also um pretty young. He's two year old. Which brings me joy. I like working with these guys. Um, and he's so calm and chill. It's like my favorite. So to get to the point, I am exhausted today. Just exhausted. And as someone who is extremely driven, is that good right there? Yeah, that's good right there. Extremely driven. Um, and sometimes to a fault, like I will drive myself right into the ground sometimes, um, doing whatever it is that I want to do. <laughs> so it's like totally my own fault. Uh, it's hard to accept sometimes that I am exhausted and that I need a break. And when I was competing, that was one of the times like that was, that was a trigger. Basically, if I was competing and I would get really tired and I would keep going in my training or my riding, whoa, sir, a little too many, it's too many, too much teeth in there, sir. Thank you. Um, anyway, I would try and push through like I thought about doing today, like I thought about doing today, push through and just keep working and get it done. But here's the thing. When your partner <laughs> is a living being and a thousand pounds or more, you can't just go out there exhausted and be nice. Good boy. Uh, can't just go out there exhausted and expect to have a good training session. And I think every athlete knows that even the athletes that are themselves, the athlete like swimmers uh, or, you know, basketball players, obviously you have a team that's relying on you, but um, when we are horse people and we get exhausted and we try and push through and go out with our horse, I find that that for me was a point where I would easily or easier get angry things wouldn't go my way. It wouldn't work out the way I wanted it to. I would get frustrated faster. So this is me giving you permission today to take a, take a beat, take a beat and know this. If you are an equestrian that competes on any level, or you're just an equestrian that has goals for your horse and you're on some kind of training schedule. Remember that your attitude and your energy that you bring out to your, to your partnership, to bring to your equine partnership, to your work with your horse, that is just as much responsible for your results as consistent time put in. Okay. Because if you are coming out to the barn or you're going out to ride and you're exhausted, which means you're short tempered or you're just in a bad mood anyway, and you take that out to your horse, your horse is going to sense that before you get there. And this time right here, this time between Sal and I in the barn is just as productive as any other training because we spend time together because he realizes I'm not just here to use him and leave him. We're, we are partners. We have a relationship and this is relationship building time. So though, you may be exhausted. If you are an equestrian, um, take the day, take the day, spend a little extra time with your horse on the ground with no expectations. Put your expectations uh, outside the barn. Leave them in the house. Leave your expectations in the house. What do you think, bud? So that's really it. That's all I've got for you today. I just want you to leave your expectations at the door. Spend some quality time with your horse and uh have fun and when you're exhausted take the time to get the rest you need you're going to be better tomorrow you're going to wake up tomorrow and be more productive than you were today and it doesn't matter what you try and do while you're exhausted 
it's not going to be anything as hey it's not going to be anywhere near as productive as if you were well rested so take the time today to take care of yourself spend a little cuddly time with the pony like sale what would you do with your teeth sale <laughs> and uh have at it again tomorrow all right you guys have a great thursday and i'll see you tomorrow